Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be doing an unfinished home tour. Keep in mind, we've been here for two and a half years, but we still have not finished. We have plenty of more renovations to do, but I have done a little bit here and there to each and every room. And I wanna show you guys our progress so far. And eventually I'll do a whole series of actually doing makeovers in each room. But for now, I like the way that everything is. We do have two kids. One is a toddler and we can't have anything nice or any decor within his range because he breaks everything. I can't have decor pillows. I can't have anything nice that he can reach because he'll break it so i've kind of emptied out the whole house from anything that he can reach if my house seems kind of plain and empty it's because of that i just want to show you guys around and show you all the little updates that we've made and how much each of the updates have cost us anyways let's just get right into it and we'll start off with the living room so we have two levels to the house everything is on the main level and then we have a full base so the main floor of the house is an open concept i used to always want open concept i like the idea of everything just having no walls everything was completely open you can go seamlessly into one room to the other and everything just flowed all together my design style for the house is a little bit of modern and a little bit of scandinavian i'm probably leaning more towards the modern side only because of the renovations that the previous owners did to the house were very much modern and it's stuff that we cannot change and we don't want to change because they upgraded the entire house i'll post a picture of what the house looked like before and what it looks like now like what they did with the inside it used to have a blue rug and they completely redid all the flooring in the house which was nice the kitchen was completely outdated and then they put new cabinets new countertops everything on the main floor was pretty much redone except for the walls i've slowly repainted every single wall in the house except for the one behind you it's the only one that is yellow compared to all the other walls we'll start off here in the living room we have this giant oversized sectional this thing is humongous this couch barely fit in the our first apartment where we bought it for this is the only spot that we can place the couch that it's not completely overpowering the living room and blocking it off from the rest of the house we've had this couch for about three years i want to say and we purchased it for about like 1500 and let me tell you it was worth every penny because this couch is super comfortable it's huge, done its job, and Ezekiel has spilled so much stuff on it, and everything is removable, and I could wash it. It don't even look like we've had them for as long as we've had them, which is great. So on this side of the house, we have Ezekiel's play corner. So if you watched my previous video titled Two Years Sleep Regression, we've, I've had to move his playroom out of his room into the living room, so I completely turned this area into his playroom. He's been loving it so far, and it definitely has helped with his sleeping at night. He is now sleeping through the night, which is amazing, which is exactly what we wanted. This whole area, I don't care if it gets messed up, it's covered with toys almost all the time. And the only reason it looks like this is because he's sleeping. It's not gonna stay like this because as soon as he wakes up, he's gonna dump out that basket and the toys are gonna be all over the house, but it's fine. That's what life is like with a toddler. So it's completely fine with me. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, this is my favorite part in the entire house. This kitchen is so nice and hats off to the previous owners who designed it. I love it. Brown really isn't my style. If it was up to me, I probably would have done white. White with either matte black handles or gold handles, but it's perfect for now and we have no plans on changing it at all. There used to be a really big wall here that they took down and completely redid this. We don't have any bar stools right now over here because Ezekiel likes to climb on top of the counters. So we removed any extra bar stools that we have. We only keep the two, one for me, one for Tommy. And then we have his learning tower. I bought this Allen on Facebook market for $300 and they also delivered it to me, which was awesome because we don't have a truck. So I think this was a great buy. I, I love the butcher block look. I love like the worn out kind of look. It just makes it feel more homey. I love incorporating wood tones here and there. That's part of like the Scandinavian kind of feel. There was originally a dining room table in here, but we don't have a dining room to begin with. And it just didn't look right. I kind of wanted everything to be counter height. So that way it flowed a little bit better into the living room. So on this side of the kitchen, I really wanted to create a gallery wall. And I chose to do the black and white pictures with the black and white frames because I wanted everything just kind of just be cohesive. I bought 18 frames. So I spent about $100 on these frames. They're pretty expensive, but I think it's totally worth it because I'm going to keep using this gallery wall and just changing out the pictures. The gallery wall was pretty easy to put up. So what took a long time to do was the DIY board and batten wall. I love how it came out. It ended up costing us about $220 with the wood and all the materials. It was totally worth it. It does wrap around to the other wall as well. I just don't have any pictures hung up on top of it. Since we can't do anything with the TV area yet, at least I got to do some kind of accent wall on this side. So moving on to this door. This used to be Ezekiel's room when he was a baby baby, but as he got older, his toys got bigger, so we moved him in to the bigger room so this is now our office room it's nothing special this is probably the only room that we have not touched at all this is our little office room 
So in this office space, we just have his and her desk. I bought this desk actually on Facebook Market for 60 bucks. It used to be brown with silver legs and I just painted it white and black to kind of go with the rest of the house. Keep Mommy's cage in here for whenever we're not home. We also keep her bed in here because Ezekiel will not let her just hang out in the living room, just chilling on her bed. He'll just keep jumping on her. So this is the only way that she can relax is by being in here. I'm rarely in here, I'm only in here when I do sit down videos because the lighting is really good here in the morning. But we have not done any transformation with this room whatsoever. Eventually we will, but we just haven't come up with an idea yet of what we want the room to look like. So this one will be another transformation for later on. For the hallway, I wanted to keep it very simple, very minimalistic. It's not a really big hallway, so I didn't want it to feel too crowded. I didn't want too much stuff on the wall, too much going on. So I kept it simple with just a sign over the bathroom that says powder room, a faux plant hanging on the wall, and then two really pretty big pictures of, of mine and Tommy's wedding. Another small tip on how to upgrade your home a little bit without breaking the bank is replacing all of the doorknobs. Everything in the house was a mix of gold and silver. So we took everything out. We replaced them all with matte black doorknobs. So the doorknobs were about $25 a piece. And I think we have about like six doors. So it did cost us like about $140, $150 to replace the doorknob. And it's a simple way to just elevate the look of your home without really doing much. Next room that I want to show you guys is the bathroom. We have two bathrooms in this house. We have one on the main floor and then we do have one in the basement. We never use it. But this bathroom, I love it. The previous owner decided to do marble tile on, on the bottom of it, but it also continues up to the ceiling, which looks really nice. So we don't have regular walls. I'm kind of going for like a minimalistic vibe right now. That's kind of where I'm at so I don't mind it being like this overall I love this bathroom I think the previous owners did an amazing job renovating it so all I really had to do was just bring in a couple small touches here and there to kind of make it more homey but they basically did the rest okay so the next room that I wanted to show you guys was our bedroom we currently do not have a bed frame in our room one because we cannot agree on one me and Tommy have completely different tastes I'm completely fine with not even having one and two because we have a king size and our mattress is like 20 inches thick all of the bed frames make our bed so high and that's why we got rid of our old one so we're trying to find a really cute wood Wooden, low to the ground platform style bed frame but we just haven't found one that we loved yet for me the less holes I can do in the walls the better so me just making a shelf and that way whenever I get bored and I want to change it around all I have to do is just take the stuff off versus making another hole in the wall with the dresser that I have in here it was actually black with black handles on it and I ended up painting it white and then spray painting the handles gold to kind of just give it a little bit different feel it was actually the first DIY project that I ever did after I did this project was when I fell in love with everything just being white and bright and airy I just love that whole feel so I kind of wanted to take that and just roll with it throughout the rest of the house but overall I just love the vibe that's in our room right now it is definitely missing a bed frame but that's what's gonna make the room feel more complete but for now we don't have one it's completely fine but I love the way that it looks as is so the last room I wanted to show you is the kids room so I wanted this room to be a complete playroom for them I wanted them to have the biggest room in the house so that they could put as many toys in here and because we're using our third bedroom as our office room I wanted them to share this space once Melina is old enough <laughs> so the room is pretty empty right now so all it has is the tv the sofa his little bed and then of course i had to put another shelf in here to hold the haka and to put a, a little bit of decoration in here so eventually as melina gets older and they're both using this space i'll probably change it again all right guys well that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed my little home tour i want to remind you it is not done we are not even close to being done but this is just where it's at right now i'm happy with it and i don't see us changing anything for a while until the kids are a little bit older we can actually do more decor in the house if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. As always, I appreciate your love and support and I'll see you guys in my next video.